Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to try and help you understand how we, we could design a game and break it down to its smallest and easiest components. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up with a concept for our game. Um, so I've got some... Uh, thanks man. And this is just a simple storyboard so that we can actually start sketching out our game. You can download this sheet uh, online on our resources page. Now my game is called Dodge. Basically, you're a spaceship and there's loads of walls coming at you and you have to dodge them but you can also break them with uh, some firepower. So I'm just going to sketch this out, so um, bear with me while I brainstorm. Basically, the way it works is you've got this uh, spaceship looking kind of thing and uh, it's fixed at this position but you can go up and down so you can start dodging the walls that come at you. Uh, and Maybe you can also fire, but at the moment I'm just going to have it dodge the walls because it's just easier to program and, um, you know, start simple, basically. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and break this game down to its most elementary components. So, if you think about it, we've got our character, which is the spaceship, so spaceship, and then the function that it has to do is it has to move up and down, and then we also need a kind of, we need to store its position, we need to know exactly where it is. And then when it hits a wall, we, we will be able to tell, because we know its position and we know the wall's position. So now, we need a wall, okay? So we need wall, and we need to be able to move it from right to left. We also need to be able to control how quickly it moves from one side to the other because that's kind of the difficulty. So maybe, for example, we'll be able, we, we will want to get it to go faster and faster and faster. So the better and better you get at, at dodging walls, the faster they will come at you. And then finally, we want to be able to randomize their size and their position. One more thing that we might want to do is we want to make sure that it's always possible to get through a wall. So for example, if you have a wall that is, say, six, or if it's seven, seven pixels high, then our spaceship is two pixels high, so it won't actually be able to pass right through. So we need to make sure that the maximum uh, height of every wall is, let's say, six pixels. The last thing we need to think about is, um, we need to think about a scoring system. And what we can do is we can use each pixel, or maybe maybe we could use each, every eight pixels, maybe that's a meter in our game. So then we can actually say you've done 400 meters through this space, or maybe you've done 20 meters, or whatever. So the scoring system needs to be able to tell how many meters, how many eights of pixels we've gone past. And then a bonus, it's always good to have like a bonus feature in your games. And the bonus is that let's make the spaceship fire bullets and smash walls. Okay? So that's it. That's our game in three main components and one bonus one. Um, and the way you would go about um, programming this is that you would start with the simplest thing. So we would start with the spaceship, for example, and we would say, okay, let's set it on the screen and then uh, let's move it up and down. So once you do that, you do in a separate sketch, you do the walls. So you make and you basically try and figure out a way to um, move the walls from right to left um, with different speeds. That's another test that we can do. Finally, the last test that we can do, which will only kind of happen when we combine these two, or we can maybe test it on the wall program, is try to see how many walls have, have gone past us, or how much we've traveled in pixels. Um, and the main thing here, why we've done this, because we need to break everything in separate components and test everything separately. If you try to build your game in one go, it will never work, because it's a very complicated piece of code to run in one go. So you need to break it down into these elements and understand what each one of them does. And then, it's much easier to create a game. So, once you do all those three components, you then start 
to add them all and kind of build iteratively. So maybe you do a test with just the spaceship, you do a test with just the wall, you do a test with just the scoring system, then you do a test with the spaceship and the scoring system, one with the wall and the scoring system, one with the spaceship and the walls, but then maybe you can't lose, maybe another version where you can lose, and then all together, yeah? And then, if you're super clever, you can do the bonus feature. And remember, the most important thing about creating games is that you have to start simple. Don't try to make something like Super Mario or a really, really crazy complicated game. Start simple, make a simple game, and as you get better at coding and as you get better at understanding how the game works, then you can jump onto more complicated things. Thank you.